Hey guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So in today's video, I'm going to be going in depth about how I drew my hair within the last couple of months. And I know you can't see my hair right now because it's in these two braids, but I will be including lots of pictures of what it was before versus now. So you guys get a good idea of the growth that I got and how I did it. I did a video like this in the beginning of 2019, but I wanted to do an updated version because I have a few new tips that aren't included in that video. And these new tips have been super helpful in my hair growth and yeah there really isn't too much to say other than that so let's just get right into the video but so back in august i got a trim but it was actually more of a cut than a trim because the lady cut off a lot more hair than i thought she would have it was definitely more of a cut my hair was just barely reaching shoulder length and i wasn't really happy with that because it was definitely a lot longer before so i'll go insert some pictures of what it looked like in august of 2019 And again, in those pictures, you can see that my hair was just like barely reaching shoulder length. So seeing that really just made me focus on wanting to grow my hair out. And I'm going to insert pictures of what my hair length is like now so you guys can see the difference between August and now. Not only did my hair get longer, it also got a lot thicker. In like December, my hair just suddenly got really thick. These tips will not only make your hair grow longer, but it'll also make your hair thicker, which is always good. And between the time period of September and now, I have gotten my hair trimmed twice. So now that you guys have all that background info, I'm going to tell you all the four tips that really just helped me grow my hair. So the first tip I have for you guys is doing mini twists. And I would say just doing protective styles in general, but out of all the protective styles I've done, I've only noticed a main difference when I did mini twists. And even though I usually only keep my mini twists in for a week, every time I take them out, I always notice just a tiny bit of growth and that's more than I see with any other protective style. And mini twists are really good at keeping your hair moisturized. For me, whenever I do mini braids, my hair always gets really dry, but with mini twists, they always stay moisturized. And mini twists, of course, keep your hair detangled really well and having more detangled hair means less breakage because if you're always brushing out your tangles, then you're probably going to be breaking some of your hair as well. So the less you have to detangle, tangle your hair is the less breakage you're gonna have. I will say that before you do any protective style, you should definitely do a protein treatment before. Doing this will just make sure that your hair is strong while it's in the protective style, and that'll just make the style more effective, and you'll receive more benefits from the style than if you didn't do a protein treatment prior to it. And some protein treatments that I like to do before I do a protective style is either use rice water or this hair mask right here, and this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow and Restore Treatment Mask. Anything in this Shea Moisture line is a really good and go-to protein treatment so I definitely recommend this if your hair needs some protein but yeah doing a protein treatment before any protective style is always a really good idea and if you guys aren't doing that I definitely recommend that you start doing it so my second tip is to pre-poo before you wash your hair and this tip I think is the biggest one out of all of them just because this will save your hair so 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 much I promise you so if you don't know exactly what a pre-poo is it's putting in a treatment before you wash your hair so before you shampoo condition anything putting something in your hair before you do all of that and really detangling your hair before you get in the shower to actually wash it and taking the time to detangle your hair before you wash it saves your hair from so much breakage and so much more gentle on your hair than just going right at it while you're in the shower and if you start doing this tip then you'll notice that the amount of hair that you're shedding will decline so much because like I said it just saves your hair from so much breakage also when you start doing this consistently you'll notice that it takes a lot less time to actually detangle your hair and pre-pooling will also cut down down your wash time so much because you won't need to spend so much time in the shower detangling your hair since it's already done before you even get in the shower and like I said this is probably my biggest tip out of this whole video because I noticed the most difference with this it just prevents so much breakage and if you're having more breakage that means whatever new growth your hair is having it's just breaking off so you're not noticing any new growth so since this prevents breakage you'll actually start noticing that your hair is really growing and it is getting new length now my favorite store-bought pre-poo is this one by African Pride and is their aloe and coconut water pre shampoo and this stuff is so 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 amazing it has a ton of slip and you don't even need to use a lot of product to be able to detangle your hair with it and it's only six dollars so it's super affordable for such an amazing product and if you haven't tried this before I really 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 recommend that you try it because it is definitely a game changer if you don't want to buy a store-bought pre poo there's definitely homemade options that you can make instead the first one I use sometimes is pure aloe vera so 
what I'll do is just I'll take an aloe vera leaf and I'll cut it and blend it so I just have the gel and I'll use that as my pre-poo and the aloe vera gel has a lot of slip to it as well. Definitely not as much as this product right here but it still has a really good amount of slip to it and aloe vera is super moisturizing and nourishing to your hair so it's always a good product to use. You can also pre-poo with a hot oil like if you do a hot oil treatment but just really take the time to detangle your hair with the oils that's also a good option or sometimes I'll just use any deep conditioner as my pre-poo and I'll just detangle with that. So there's definitely a lot of different options you can do when it comes to pre-pooing but if you're not doing any at all I definitely recommend that you start doing it. My third tip is taking vitamin B5. So I originally started taking vitamin B5 for something else but I noticed that after a couple weeks of me taking it my hair got so thick like so much thicker. So vitamin B5 itself actually helps metabolize or break down the carbs in your body and it turns them into glucose which your body uses for energy. And this energy is used throughout your entire body to carry nutrients to the places that it's needed which means that more nutrients will be carried to your hair. And it's known for this vitamin to help retain hair moisture, help prevent breakage and it'll really just strengthen your strands which means less breakage and this improves the elasticity in your curls which means your curls will be bouncier and more defined. So basically vitamin B5 just gives your hair all the nutrients it needs to continue flourishing as it should. The very last tip I have for you guys is to stop using regular hair ties in your hair and instead switch to scrunchies because that is so much better for your hair. Every single time I use a regular scrunchie, whenever I'm taking it out, it always pulls out hair with it. And for most people I know, they experience the same thing. Their normal hair ties just always get caught around your hair and it ends up ripping it out. But scrunchies instead, they don't wrap around your hair as easily since they're not thin like hair ties are. So they won't rip out your hair at all. Specifically, what type of scrunchie I use the most is this really big satin scrunchie. So as you can see, it's the satin material and it's really big because I only use it to tie my hair up at night. But you can get regular size ones as well. And you can order these off of Amazon. There's a ton of different options and colors on there. And they're also really inexpensive, so it's an easy switch to make that'll make a big difference. Doing this will just prevent your hair from always getting ripped out from the scrunchies. And depending on how often you do hairstyles with them, this might affect your hair a lot. And if you're someone that does a lot of hairstyles that involve you tying your hair up with a hair tie, then you would probably experience a lot more breakage from that than you really need to. So making the switch will definitely make a big difference. So yeah, those are the four tips I've been using over the past couple of months that have helped me grow my hair a lot. If you guys start incorporating this into your routines, I'm sure you guys will notice a difference as well. And yeah, if you guys like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. And comment down below any other video ideas you have for me and I'll try my best to get that done for y'all. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.